greatest people are self-managing. They don't need to be managed. You, if they know what, if, if once they know what to do, they'll go figure out how to do it. And they don't need to be managed at all. What they need is a common vision, and that's what leadership is. What leadership is is having a vision, being able to articulate that so the people around you can understand it, and getting a consensus on a common vision. We wanted people that were insanely great at what they did, but we're, we're not necessarily those seasoned professionals, but who had on, at the tips of their fingers and in their passion the latest understanding of where technology was and what we could do with that technology and who wanted to bring that to, to lots of people. So the neatest thing that happens is when you get a core group of, uh, you know, ten great people, that it becomes self-policing as to who they let into that group. So I consider the most important job of someone uh, like myself is recruiting. We went through that stage in Apple where we went out and we thought, oh, we're going to be a big company, let's hire professional management. We went out and hired a bunch of professional management. It didn't work at all. Most of them were bozos. They, they knew how to manage, but they didn't know how to do anything. And so if you're a great person, why do you want to work for somebody you can't learn anything from? Uh, and you know what's interesting? You know who the best managers are? They're the great individual contributors who never, ever want to be a manager, but decide they have to be a manager because all, every, no one else is going to be able to do as good a job as them.